Hello dear students I am your science teacher of class 5 Miss Susmita Today I am here to deliver the topic work and energy Before beginning the topic let me give you a brief introduction which you have already been read in class 4 As we all do several activities in our day to day life and these activities involve pushing or pulling we know that a push or pull is called a force since we have already learned in class 4 that with the help of force we are able to do a lot of things like we can move a stationary object we can stop a moving object we can change the direction of a moving object etc etc similarly We also know that when we kick a football it moves whereas when we push a wall it does not move no matter how much energy we have spent Let me ask you one question dear children have you ever thought of it why as the wall does not move when we apply force what would be the answer well So to know the answer and many more things let us now get into the topic work and energy before we start let me tell you the key topics which we are going to deal in the following chapter they are what, what is work about energy types of energy in the types of energy we will be dealing about what are renewable energy and what are the uses and the sources and then what are non renewable sources of energy what are the uses and what are the sources of this non renewable energy so let us go one by one first we have work now let us know that what is exactly work mean So first let me tell you the definition of work according to science. So the definition is work is said to be done when a force applied on an object displaces it from its original position in the direction of force. So what does this mean children? Like Examples of work done is carrying a load up or down a staircase, running, jogging, cycling, etc. All these are examples of work done. Whereas work is not being done in certain cases like reading a book in a classroom or holding a luggage and standing at one place. then how can we differentiate between these two things whereas in gen- general terms we know that when a person is holding a luggage and standing at one place holding the luggage then we can say work is done but that is wrong according to science so let me explain you what does that exactly mean work is said to be done only when an object displaces it from its original position so here we can see that holding a luggage and standing at one place which means there is no displacement from the original position can you understand dear children there is no displacement of object from its original position hence we say that holding a luggage and standing at one place is the example of work not being done whereas carrying a load and moving up or down a staircase where there is the displacement of object from its original position we can say that work is done hope you have understood regarding what does exactly work mean in science so now children let's move on to our next topic that is energy energy is the ability to do work this is the definition of energy once again let me repeat it for you energy is the ability to do work as we all know that whenever we are performing any task or any work 
we need lot of energy right so we can say that work and energy are closely related to each other isn't it we need energy to work run eat laugh talk breathe etc so whenever work is done there is always a transfer or change of energy right children as we have already learned that we need energy to perform different types of work or any task then from where do we get this energy from so we get this energy by eating different types of food right you must have already learned this in your class 4 science that in food there are different nutrients found like your proteins carbohydrates fats vitamins minerals roughage water etc isn't it now among all these food items or the nutrients that are found in food which are the particular nutrients that provide energy to our body so the food items that are rich in carbohydrates and fats are called energy giving foods and these food items include the include the cereals like rice wheat and corn and also oil cheese etc we also know that carbohydrate and fats what did they do after they go into the body they release energy both carbohydrates and fats burns in the body to release energy right and we have also learned that the fats provide more energy than the carbohydrates fats provide more energy than the carbohydrates so how do we know that what is the amount of energy that is required by our body to perform any task it depends on the task that we are doing or that we are supposed to perform like for example we need more energy when we run or jog than to walk slowly isn't it like we need more energy when we lift a heavy luggage or when we are climbing a staircase so the amount of energy is always depend dependent on the task that we are supposed to perform now children let's move on to our next topic that is the different types of energy so now in different types of energy we are going to deal with heat energy electrical energy solar energy wind energy mechanical energy sound energy and light energy so now children let me start with the first one that is the heat energy so what does heat mean heat is actually a form of energy that is being transferred from a substance that is a, at a higher temperature to another substance that is at a lower temperature so to explain this let me give you an example by which you can understand it in a better way so for example have you ever touched a hot pan that is on a stove what happens when you touch the hot pan it burns your hand why because the heat energy from the hot pan gets transferred to your hand and we have already seen that as heat energy always transfers from a hotter substance to a lower sub lower hotter substance right here the hotter substance is what is the hot pan that is on the stove and the lower temperature is your hand which is the which is at a lower temperature isn't it so the heat energy from the hot pan get transferred to your hand 
Some more examples are also there like LPG. LPG release heat energy that is used to cook food, isn't it? Thus, we can conclude that heat is a form of energy and it is very useful to all living things and there is no life possible on the planet without this form of energy, isn't it? And here I can tell you that we can say that sun is the natural source of heat energy on the earth. The second one is the electrical energy. What is electrical energy? Electrical energy is the energy caused by the moving electrical ions. Moving electrical ions. And this energy is produced in large quantities in the power stations. In the power stations. And from these power stations, the energy is being supplied to our homes. Then what do we do with this energy? With this electrical energy, we light the bulbs, tube lights, flashlights and all the electrical appliances like the television, washing machine, computers, etc. are used in our homes. Thank you children for watching the video. We will meet soon in the next part of the video.